Well, I am driving to Ohio, you guys know that, but I am staying on top of things going on, uh, especially with the entry boxes here in Ontario recently. Just got to pay attention to where they're getting in, what they're doing, and I, I'm, you know, I want to stay on top of, you know, what the race office's plans are also. So when it came to no free lunch, I sent an email out yesterday and a video out yesterday explaining that I didn't, uh, I didn't really want to race against Century Hannibal. That's not admitting defeat, but... I just don't think we, that No Free Lunch was ready for that, especially when that door seemed to be open in that other class, right? Now there's a four, I believe. I was, I was excited about maybe getting a softer race into him. And then next week, you know, we chase Hannibal. We we chase Century Hannibal. It's only one division anyway. We chase Century Hannibal. You know, pick up a second, third, fourth, whatever, hopefully, and make the final. That's the plan. Things don't always go to plan. So I get on the phone with the race office. They said they had 11 entries and the numbers are four and they can't let him in there. So now they got to put him in the numbers is 8,000. Now I'm sitting here hoping that there's no killers in there because what would happen? I would get angry emails from uh, my partners on No Free Lunch. So I don't know who's in the race. Obviously, they're not going to tell me the draw is not even going to be done for another two hours. But um, it isn't going to be the numbers of four. It's going to be the numbers 8,000 with some experienced horses in there. They're dropping down, but there's going to be, if no heavyweights, at least some ex-heavyweights in there. And and uh, not what I wanted. But when you roll the dice, and, and it's not like I could pick and choose. We had to make a decision yesterday based on the information that we had for today. That information has changed. So uh, hopefully it's not a tough race. We'll see. Either way, it'll be another race for no free lunch. As I said, there's only one division and one uh, horse that appears to be a layover in that division from what I can see at least. Um, so hopefully we're tighter this week. Follow, get some points, get in the final next week. That's the plan. And then maybe take a, a serious run at Century Hannibal in the final. That would be best case scenario for us. Today it's going to be a little bit different. You're not going to see the names from last week that we hoped. But that is, uh, that's the way it is. That's racing. So uh, my mini miracle, I had a, a couple of changes last night. We sold Jazzy Judy. We were able to complete that sale. We sold Swan's Honey. We were able to complete that sale. And uh, I, I, I was able to uh, maneuver some of the clients from Swan's Honey into my mini miracle. Uh, there were some people that were, you know, this time of year, stake season, stakes time. You're going to have people that are going to be looking to consolidate, right? Back away a little bit. And um, we had some people, a couple of people that said, hey, uh, two people in particular said they had five shares each to put back uh, to put back into the market, so to speak, if people wanted them. So um, we did, we were allowed to let, we, we allowed some of our people back into my mini miracle also. Now, she was entered for Saturday. That class will be carried over to Monday. So we'll have, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to call the race office back. I'm dreading. The, I'm dreading the the phone call to the race office to hear them say that, that Locatelli has to win the Open. I hope he doesn't. I'm going to make a call, call back right now and ask him. But for now, uh, no free lunch. We'll be in to go Saturday night in the number is 8,000. My mini miracle will be in Monday. Um, so will... What's that horse's name? Royson's Punch will be back in on Monday. Uh, I suspect White Tiger, Locatelli... We'll all be back in. Kings County's not going to be back in. We're going to give him a week off. Now that he has 10 starts, there's a number of conditions on the sheet. Non-winners of so much in 2021-2022, minimum 10 starts. So he actually drops down quite a bit. Um, he did bleed a little bit through Lasex the other night, but we know why. We know what took place. Still a little bit sick. We're, we're dealing with it. We're going to treat it up and ready to go for his next start. So that's what's going on with him. Good luck to everybody tonight. I'm now on my way. I'm in the U.S. on my way to Ohio. We have three or four horses qualifying today. We have five racing tonight. Um, I'll be back tomorrow as I have to race Captain Mike Dio and uh, so and Sue in the final. A uh, little bit of a curveball with LD's Patrick. My Judas, my other Judas brother, Mark, jumped off LD's Patrick as I said yesterday. He got free tickets to the Rangers game so I can only hope that the popcorn is stale and the beer is warm flat and the Rangers lose. Uh, that's all I can hope for tomorrow. Brett Beckwith, Mark Beckwith's son. And for those of you out there that say, oh, oh, Mark put his son on the horse. No, Anthony put his son on the horse. Anthony said, listen, I don't want one of the guys that are just going to look and say eight to five, four wins in a row, and blast him into the turn. 
he's going to leave enough on his own. This kid's got a, he's on, he's doing well the last little while, Brett Beckwith. He's got a good set of hands on him. He's already spoke to James a couple of times about this horse. So really what I was looking for was somebody you could talk to and say, listen, yes, he's eight to five. Yes, he's got the rail. Absolutely not. It's a cakewalk. It's not a cakewalk. This horse is still a little bit tricky. So James gave him a lowdown on LD's Patrick. So lots going on this week. My day today is going to have uh, what are we, nine, eight, nine horses going. I'm going with seven or so of them. Um, big day ahead. So for those of you in Ontario, rain's coming this afternoon. Sun's going to be out in Ohio. So I'm in the right place. You're not. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.